Let's dive right in. This is the walkthrough video for the Erlenmeyer assets. These are part of the larger set of chemistry glassware consisting so far of Erlenmeyers and beakers. Both are available for free on Gumroad, and the link for this one will be in the description. There are a few things that I want to run through in this walkthrough. Very simply, if we look at any of these models and come to the modifier tab, you'll see that they each have a solidify defining the thickness, and they also have a subdivision surface modifier, which is disabled in the viewport so it can run a little bit more easily. Most of this is going to break down into the materials and the liquids. Similar to the beakers, each of these has the liquid actually parented to the associated flask, just so that if you move one around, it will move with the actual flask. Now, there are a few things that I want to touch on here. One is that actually these Erlenmeyers are dimensioned to the same scale as the beakers. So if you want to use the two in a scene together, you can do so out of the box. You may have to adjust them a little bit to look depending on how you want it to work. The other thing I want to mention is that these are dimensioned based on actual Erlenmeyers, but the actual scale is significantly larger. So obviously not 200 and or 2.12 meters, but significantly smaller. So to get this in the actual scale, I believe you just have to divide by a factor of 10. And that is true for the beakers as well. Now let's talk a little bit about the actual setup and the materials. These are set up for cycles. If you want to work with EV, you're going to have to do the adjustments for working with glass in EV. And very simply, if we just zoom in on any of them, you can see they all have this liquid. They all have a very simple made in blender logo, and they also have uh, the relative scaling for the associated Erlenmeyer. Now in the beaker version, there's a nice little trick where you can just scale in the Z direction for the liquid. That isn't going to work for the Erlenmeyer just because obviously this is conical. So I'm just going to do a quick kind of walkthrough on how you would actually create this liquid if you want to do it in different sizes, or rather how I did it for these. So very simply, hit 1 to come into front orthographic, Z to go into wireframe, and then I'm actually just going to hide this liquid for now, grab the associated flask, so whichever one you want, and let's say I want liquid only up until about here. What I'm going to do is tab into edit mode, hit Alt A, First, I'll actually turn on screencast keys just so that it's easier to follow along. So Alt A to deselect everything. Then I'm just going to drag out a box over the amount of liquid that I want. So if I want it all the way up to here, I'm dragging up to here. If I want it down here, I'll drag to there. And I have edge select, but face select would work fine too. From here, I'm going to Shift D and duplicate this, drag it off to the side, and then right click to snap it back in place. I'm then going to hit P and choose separate by selection. We're going to tab back into object mode grab this new model here, and I'm going to call this low volume liquid. And then I'm going to delete the solidify modifier. I'm also going to come down to the materials and remove both the glass materials here and just add in the pre-made cycles blue liquid. You can change the liquid to any color you want by simply coming down to the volume absorption and changing the color here. So if I want this to be green, I would change it to green, blue, etc. I'm not going to do that right now because they're all linked. And if you want to add new materials, absolutely feel free. You won't really be able to get this to work in EV because you'll need to account for volumetrics. So if we come into material preview and just wait a second for it to load, you can see that actually is not terrible, but it's also not great. You can see there's some measure of volumetric fuzz going around, which, whereas if we turn to cycles and come to render view, this looks a lot better. Now, as you can see, there's clearly a problem with this liquid still, which is that I haven't closed the top. So very simply, I'm just going to hide the beaker, grab this, tab and back into edit mode, hit two for edge select, hold down alt and click this top edge, and then just E and S and extrude in. Then I'm going to hit shift R at least twice to redo that, or repeat that action rather, hit F to fill in the center, and then what I usually like to do is come back to this outer edge, so alt and click that again, control B to bevel, and then just hold down shift and pull lightly, scroll up on the mouse wheel maybe once or twice, so we have a few cuts, and now we have our simple liquid disc. It's not perfect, but it actually does the job pretty well. Now, if you see some sort of interesting collisions here, and that's sort of the case, all you need to do is hit with the liquid selected, hit S, Shift C, and then just scale in just a little bit so that it's no longer clipping the boundaries. And then once you've done that, you'll have a pretty adjustable volume. You can do that for any of these. It is a little bit of a nuisance compared to the beakers where you can just move them up and down, but unfortunately that's just kind of the way it is. If you have a larger volume, obviously, you can just delete parts of it and then recreate the cap to get the liquid. Other than that, this is essentially the details of the scene. So when you get it, as I mentioned, set up for cycles, you could add the beakers. If you do have the beakers and want to do that, simply go to File, Append, and let's go ahead and add in 
the test beaker that I have for reference. So you would come to object and then you could add in your 250 milliliter beaker for reference. I'm going to just grab that and move that over to just about there. You can see I actually messed up there and I added the reference liquid, not the beaker. So we're going to do that again. Append and beaker size reference. There we go. That's the actual beaker. Now where's our, this is our 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer. So the beaker would fit sort of between these. And even though this seems not quite right, it actually is. Erlenmeyers and beakers, just because of the conical sort of thing going on, actually fill at somewhat different volumes, but this is how they would look in a scene together. So that is the relative size scale, and there's a full set of beakers that complements all of these Erlenmeyers quite nicely. One other thing that is worth mentioning is because of the way that I set it up to pull liquids from the inside, the solidify is actually facing outwards for all of these, so you'll notice that the offset is one. That's important because you cannot just snap the origin to ground here if you do and you have a ground plane that is set to say zero, which in this case is the actual ground plane, what's going to happen is you will actually clip through the ground plane. So when you want to put them flat, you just have to adjust for the thickness of the solidify. And that's essentially just coming in here saying, okay, 0 0.035, 0 0.035 for the Z. And that would be just about right. But they're all set up out of box, so you could just simply hit G, Shift Z, and then move them around. They would stay on that plane if you want. So that just about wraps it up. As always, thanks for coming out. If you find these assets useful, consider subscribing, sharing with your friends and colleagues so other people can make use of the assets. And as always, until next time, you have yourselves a great old day.